Everyone always blows up the Ender Dragon, but Pika and I are gonna rip the arms off of this boss to become Spider-Man. So what's the first thing you do after spawning into a modded world? A. Go exploring. B. Farm wood. C. Duel your friend Pika to a Mortal Kombat. It's a trick question. The actual answer is you stand at spawn for 5 minutes and try to set good hotkeys. Why is everything here red? With my new hotkeys I can farm a stack of anything with just one click. TOP, screw you, my video, my rules. Anyways, there's quests. Oh, and this one gives me a baby backpack. It gives me three more slots, that's cute. Oh, snails. Oh, Pika, remember the TikTok we did? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. No! Okay, it's time to get some progress in so we can defeat Chuckleberry Finn. Oh, Pika! There's the lighthouse, a meteor, and a village. I broke in some windows and I got an Iron Golem Traveler's Backpack. Then I stood there for at least 300 seconds trying to figure out how to open the backpack. I hate this mod pack. Yes! Yes! I have my backpack on right shift now. Finally. <laughs> oh no, that's Iron I just broke this guy's whole house with one click. I love this mod pack. Did you ever want to know what's inside of a meteorite? Drum roll, please. It's a mysterious cube. Thanks for watching guys, remember to like and subscribe. Just kidding. We went to prepare for the battle against Balthazar Blunderboss by fighting some stacked mobs at the lighthouse. What's the lighthouse you ask? Well, it's similar to a kindergarten. Lots of annoying mobs trying to kill you. Oh my god, those are skeletons. What is that? It's your mom. What? Sorry, I gotta stop doing that. When you climb up the lighthouse, there's actually pretty good loot. Pika, you gotta go to the very top. There's so many chests here, we need to get this. <gasps> it's time for another pop quiz. How do you get down to this chest without fighting the mobs? A. You can't. B. You can't. Or C. You spleef them with your hand. Correct! Oh my gosh, I'm so smart. No, no, get away from me, get away from me, get away from me. Back. <laughs> I just spleefed the zombies. It's time to move. We found this fisherman ship and I broke it with my bare hands. Sometimes things need to be destroyed to be built upon better than they were before. That being said, let's destroy this house too. Oh my god. Ah! Fire! <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> I'm gonna stab you. We're gonna make this You spot. can't! <laughs> you can't reach me! <laughs> A cave! Finally something useful for our preparation for the fight against Gruntilda. Now we're ready to go into the boss's realm. Phew, it stinks in here. And what's it? Ah! Dead bodies! We were immediately greeted by some mobs. Oh. Who's he? Oh, who is he? Okay, okay, there's so many more monsters. <laughs> yeah, I was having fun fighting those mobs. But you know what's even better? Loot chests. I found Hattori's katana that you can use to dash around. Then I found a blood sword that applies bleeding to enemies. We managed to clear the first layer and went down to the second one, getting one step closer to finding Bugs Bunny. I even got a trophy for looting this many chests. Assassin Dagger deals plus 5 damage when attacking from behind. Time to go even deeper. I hid myself in a room and started getting ready for the battle ahead. We found the portal room. This is it. We go through. Wait, the elevator doesn't work. How will we- oh, uh, okay. There it is! The boss! Conjunctivius? Oh yeah, that was his name. Now we just need to kill him and yoink one of his tentacles. He's kinda bad. But what we didn't know is that he's got multiple phases. Phase 1, standing around and letting us kill him. Phase 2, breaking free from his chains and attacking with his tentacles. We need to kill all of his tentacles first before we can even hit him again. Phase 3, I have no idea what this oh even God, is! Okay, okay. Chill bro, chill. Phase 2 again, tentacles, they're red now. Phase 4, he broke free from the left chain too and oh no I'm pretty low. Phase 2 again, purple of tentacles. Phase 5, full frenzy mode. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, we got him. Now he can use his tentacle to swing around. This is amazing. That boss wasn't even hard compared to the nether gauntlet. You should beat that one. The nether gauntlet. A huge shout out to all of my channel members. And especially to those that didn't quit after this first month. <laughs> no, no, even if you did, I still like you. Okay, thanks a lot. Check out my Rocket League video in the bottom left right now. As always, have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye.